guys. So today uh, I've got a really cool video. I'm going to be showing you how to replace the bearings inside your Lose BB1 Pro speed spool with Boca bearings, Avex 7 ceramic orange seal Boca bearings brought to you by Boca bearings. Um, this is a cool offering. Um, Boca has not yet um, offered these particular um, bearings yet. Um, geared specifically for the BB1 Pro. Um, of course, they're all, you know, the same size. They just have to come up with a kit that uh, that includes the one for the BB1. So that should be released shortly, as soon as it is released um, onto the Boca Bearings website. Um, I will post a link down there in the description, okay, um, or as an annotation somewhere around here. So uh, things you're going to need. First of all, you're going to need Boca Bearings. Uh, these are the Orange Seal um, Ceramic Abex 7 Bearings. These are fantastic. You're going to need, obviously, a Lose BB1 Pro Series reel. Love this thing. To install, you're going to need a pair of pliers. Okay, these, uh, sorry, tweezers. Um, these have a very small kind of needle tip. That's really important. You're going to be using this to get uh, the retention pins um, out that keep the bearings in place. This is my expert, uh, ooh, my expert bearing, good lord, removal tool. This is just a Q-tip with one end lopped off, okay? And then you're gonna need a pair of spool pin pliers. Now, um, these are the ones that are made by Boca. I'll po post a link in the description below and as an annotation. Um, it's really important that if you're gonna plan on doing this, that you use the right tools. Um, I've seen and heard many horror stories of folks who have um, used the incorrect tools by um, trying to hammer out their spool pin with a mallet um, or just yank the thing out with pliers um, and they end up bending their spool um, or, or completely severing the, the spool pin. Um, that's not what you want to do because then you'll be out the money for the bearings right that you're trying to replace and to replace the spool so that's not cheap. Um, you're trying to maximize the performance so um, make the investment in one of these it's going to make your life a cinch and I'll show you that here in a little bit. So with that let's go ahead and get started. Um, first I want to show you guys kind of a benchmark um, I've got the spool tension turned all the way down and the brakes turned all the way down. Um, for just a benchmark, I just want to show you guys kind of what free spool looks like um, on this. These are the manufacturer's bearings. They've not been flushed. Um, I got this reel basically a week ago and just got it spooled up with braid, okay? Okay, so remember that this is a loaded spool. This is 30 pound Power Pro. So it is gonna spin a little bit freer. Here we go, keep it coming, keep it coming, and stop, okay? So that's what you're looking at out of the box. Now, let's see what the Boca bearings can do for it. It's a little bit icy here in Indy, so um, I'm not yet able to get you out on the water and show you um, the difference, but um, I'm sure that the before and after is gonna be quite clear, okay? So first things first, um, just pull the pin to remove the side plate. The first bearing that we're going to be removing is this guy right there. Okay, so take your uh, tweezers and you're looking for this hexagonal ring in there. Okay, that retention pin that holds the bearing inside. You're just going to get in there with your tweezers. Might have to dig just a little bit, squeeze, and very carefully and slowly pull that retention pin out. It does have a tendency to fly around. Okay, and put that somewhere on a light surface so that you're not going to lose it. There we go. So there's your first bearing, expert um, bearing removal tool, straight down into the heart of it, lift up and pull out, and whoa, there we go, okay, so there it is, we'll set that guy aside, and we'll open up our bokeh bearings. Now, um, in this pack, you're going to get three bearings, okay? Two of the three by 10 by four, which is what we're going to be replacing first, and then one of the five by 11 by four bearings, uh, which is the one that goes on to the actual spool pin, okay? So this is what it looks like. Three by 10 by four, you'll get two. Just pop that bad boy down in there. And then you are ready to, get that out of the way, replace your retention pin. It's a lot easier to get in than it is to get out. Okay, so just slip that down inside underneath the lip. Okay, and you can hear it kind of click, but that one is now ready to go. Okay, we'll set that guy aside. 
Next up, we're gonna take the spool out. Okay, just lift straight out. We're gonna set him aside. We're gonna go to the gear side and we're gonna remove the spool tension knob. Now the nice thing about these knobs is even though it does click, there's not gonna be stuff that falls out all over the place uh, when you pull it out. That's what I love about loose reels, okay? Next, there's another pin in here, retention pin. This one is circular, not hexagonal. So in my mind, this one's a little bit more difficult to get out. See if I can show you guys that there. Bear with me guys. There we go. So there she is. Again, put that guy aside. And there's your bearing. Same deal. Just apply pressure and it usually falls right out. Put that aside. Get your last three by 10 by four bearing. And you just pop him right in, okay? And then just as we did before, we'll replace the spool pin, reten uh, sorry, the bearing retention pin. It clicks underneath that little lip. This one's a little bit harder to hear, but that one's in there. You're now two out of three done, okay? Now here's the tough one. We'll sit this guy aside and put, take out the spool. The third bearing you're gonna remove is this guy right here, okay? And it's tough because this spool pin keeps that guy from falling off. So what we're gonna do, there's a skinny side and a fat side, and hopefully you can see that. Put this up against a, a back black background. Hopefully that comes out, okay? So you're gonna wanna put pressure against the skinny side, which is that side over there, and push it out the side of the fat side, which is this side right there, okay? So let's see if I can show you how to do that. Which means, so you're gonna, using these pliers, you're gonna put the fat side in the little groove, and the skinny side is gonna be pushed out with the pin. So the skinny side is up right now, and the fat side's down. So you're just gonna apply some light pressure until that pin pops out, okay? And hope it doesn't go everywhere. There we go. Um, so then you're just gonna remove the pin from the center of your spool. And this takes some time. You don't wanna force this. Um, if the pin from that, um, that guy does go down in there, you don't wanna force that, okay? Um, it's a great way to bend your spool. There's the last bearing, okay? Sit that aside. We'll take out the last five by 11 by four bearing. The only five by 11 by four bearing actually. Slip it right on. These bearings don't have uh, a right side up or anything like that. Okay, just put it right on. Spool pin goes back down into that hole. And now you're gonna use these kind of short side and short and long sides to push that spool pin back into place so where it's half and half on each side, okay? So we'll just go like that, and there it is. You're done. That was easy, okay? So now we'll just replace the spool into there, and lock the side plate back on. And, oh, I guess putting the spool tension knob on would be a good idea again as well. Okay, so you can see how light the spool tension knob's on, and you can see that we're still set at zero. I wanna do another speed comparison test. One thing you're gonna notice that these bearings will be noticeably louder than stainless steel bearings. That is because they're ceramic. Ceramic bearings are gonna run louder. If the noise bothers you, okay, uh, I'm gonna show you uh, some high-speed oil that you can use to put on there here soon. Um, that will slow down the bearing performance, okay? So you're not gonna get this kind of free spool time um, should you choose to use the oil. So that's definitely a big difference compared to what we started with. Um, so if that noise bothers you, 
Uh, Book of Bearings makes this. This is called Lightning Loom High Speed Oil. It comes in this little syringe, okay? And you can see that bubble and how quickly it moves around. That is extremely low viscous oil, okay? So it's not really gonna slow down your bearing performance. It will make them quieter, but it will slow it down just a tad, okay? So I'll post the link to this stuff in the description below as well, okay? But check that out if you're someone um, that the noise bothers. It doesn't bother me. Now, a word of caution while we're on the, the, the topic of oil. Included in the lose box with this, okay? You're gonna receive something that looks like this. This is called lose speed lube. Um, in there it says that if your centrifugal breaks, the ACS braking system inside this reel starts to click on you and it bothers you that you can apply some to this inner kind of bronze gold race you see around the bearing. Really important that if you do this, you do not get any of this stuff on that bearing. Because this, as you can see, is a much thicker lube. Much thicker. Okay, and that will slow down that bearing's um, performance dramatically. Okay, so you want to be really careful when you're putting it on, um, as you do whenever you're working on, on your fishing reel. So I think that is a very definitive um, plus for the lose, this kind of performance. That free spool is just incredible. Okay. Um, so again, this has been an installation video of the lose. BB1 Pro Series Speed Spool Upgrade brought to you by Boca Bearings. And we are still going. Holy cow. That's incredible. Really would recommend these bearings for your uh, your pitching and flipping reels. It'll really help the speed spool startup time. Um, you know, really, really decrease that, which should really increase your pitching speed uh, and, and distance too. So um, if you have any questions, please feel free to, uh, to comment down below. I'll be sure to answer them just as quickly as I can. And be sure to uh, keep an eye out for um, an update to this, um, which includes the link for um, the Boca bearings that are going to be coming out by, um, by Boca here shortly for the Lose BB1 Pro. So this has been Andrew Moran. If you have any questions, please feel free to let me know. Thanks so much. Have a great day and tight lines, guys. Thank you.